people are my favorite subject. I love to um, explore the human experience and I am currently doing a lot of paintings where we, that other people can relate to, that the viewer can relate to, um, connecting and people interacting with each other. I find that people are fascinating to me and I like the variety that you find. No one person is like another. Um, even in twins, there's a difference. And I've learned to look for differences in twins and you can usually find it uh, and therefore be able to tell them apart. But people are my favorite subject, so I'm always looking at people and peoples. And I like that variety and I like to explore uh, various cultures. And uh, um, sometimes while I'm painting, if there's a particular culture that's different than mine, then I also might research at, while I'm working. And in doing so, then I learn more about my subject and I just become, I just become more knowledgeable. Sometimes I carry my uh, digital camera with me everywhere that I go. I often see compositions as I, as I look. I, I look at a room full of people in terms of composition. And um, I take pictures constantly, or uh, frequently I should say, and then I will take them home, I'll upload them to my own computer, and I will study them, and I may decide um, if all or part of the picture is going to be a painting. I like the um, variety of people that I see in this particular one. I had gone to a dinner dance and I had seen the ladies and how they dressed and, and I said this, they were interesting to me for a painting. So I um, went through my paintings, my library of paintings, I mean photos to see if I had any more and eventually they became the composite that you see. I only use a face with permission, otherwise I, well, these are all changed. I was only interested in the spirit of the figure or the, uh, the personality of the figure in this particular situation. But sometimes while I'm photographing, I will find, get a good image of someone and I'll at, say, um, hey, Sybil, I got a good shot of you. Would you mind if I do it as a painting? And if they said yes, then they may become a painting or even a portrait of that person. As I said, I would, if I get a, a, a great image, and, um, as, and since people are all different from each other, then it gives me the opportunity for study, to get getting to know that person better and getting involved in a, that particular person. When you look at a person as I'm looking at you now or other people in the room now, I see you totally. I have an idea of how you look. I don't know how you look until I paint your portrait. I don't know the shape of your eyes or the shape of your nose and, or your mouth. I don't know those things about you or how far, how much diff distance there is between one feature and another or high cheekbones or the, how the light falls. I don't know that until I, until I paint you because then I'm involved. I become involved in that particular subject. It's a relationship. A definite relationship develops um, to the point where I had done a, a portrait of a couple and I was so involved in them that I only saw them in terms of that painting. And I was at the Baird and I ran into the wife and I looked at her and the, my mind is going, Ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, who is this? And I really could not relate to her walking around and I really had to stop and think and in my mind's eye recall her in the painting, then I said, oh, that's so-and-so. And so then I can say, hi, how are you? But that's how I had come to visualize her.